The all-metal Eversharp was the first mass-produced mechanical pencil to combine a simple, robust propelling mechanism with a large lead capacity in an elegant, ergonomically sound design. From the teens through the 1920s, millions were sold. It was the Eversharp that redefined the mechanical pencil as a mass-market product, to the extent that Eversharp came to be widely used as a generic term for a mechanical pencil. Eversharps are made in a large variety of sizes, materials, and configurations, but all work in much the same way. Eversharps can be filled from the front, but they were designed to be filled from the inside. Unscrew the internal mechanism and pull it out. Pull back the lead propelling pin all the way, and then insert the lead. Holding the pencil upwards, replace the mechanism. Then turn it until the lead comes out the tip. Turning the crown extends the lead. There is no retracting function, so if the lead is out too far, you have to turn the crown backwards and push the lead in manually. Eversharp tips were advertised as rifled. They are splined inside, so they actually cut into the lead for a rock-solid grip. There's no lead wiggle with an Eversharp. So if you ever have to clear a lead jam, be careful not to damage those internal splines. Select a drill bit small enough that it will remove only the jammed lead and not any metal. All but the very earliest Eversharps have an eraser under the crown. It's often hard to get the crown off if the pencil hasn't been used or serviced for a long time. A still soft eraser can be replaced by pushing it out from the inside, but since the mouth of the eraser holder has an internal lip, to replace an old hardened eraser it's easiest to cut off the top. Once the lead holder is unscrewed, we can see the openings for lead storage. With the old eraser's top cut off, it's easy to push the rest of it down and out of the holder. A new eraser can then be placed inside the eraser holder, and when the holder is screwed back in place, the eraser will be pushed through into position. The replacement erasers should be cut to a length of 9 millimeters or 11 30 seconds of an inch to allow for sufficient clearance under the crown. Nearly all Eversharps use 6mm or quarter inch erasers. The less common slender models take erasers 5mm in diameter. The classic Eversharp was slightly redesigned at the end of 1924. You can identify the later improved Eversharps by their larger tip cones and clips with a central rib. The internal mechanism was changed too, but the methods for using and refilling remained essentially the same. One difference is that on the longer pencils, the lead compartment could be accessed from the side without having to remove the crown, though it does have to be unscrewed part way to release standard lengths of lead so they can fall out the tapered side slot. That length, incidentally, is 1 and 3 eighth inches, or 3.5 centimeters. Here we'll go through the refilling procedure once again. Draw back the propelling pin, insert the new lead, reassemble, holding tip upwards, turn the crown until the lead comes out the tip.
The biggest change in the improved mechanism, though, is what happens when you finish a stick of lead. When the propelling pin gets to its farthest forward position, you feel a little click, which is the activation of a simple clutch device which allows the mechanism to be pulled out straight for refilling. It doesn't have to be unscrewed all the way, as is the case with the original Eversharp. Pushing down on the propelling pin resets the clutch. You will find the improved Eversharp mechanism in wall Eversharp pencils well into the celluloid era. The exterior may look completely different, but functionally they are the same. This lapis blue soldier clip pencil dates to the very end of the 1920s. But open it up and everything inside should by now be very familiar.